Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today for this painting tutorial of these three little witches. We're working on a 12 by 16 primed canvas today. I used one coat of white acrylic gesso I let dry and I'm ready to begin this painting. I've got quite a few colors here. I'll be going over them quickly right now and I'll have a full list below this video in the description. We've got turquoise green, olive green, neon red, neon yellow warm and cool, phthalo blue, prism violet, neon violet, black, and titanium white. I'm going to be painting the background first with a large blending brush. This is a number 50. I'm going to get my, my canvas prepped first with a little bit of water. This will help make the surface a little bit more slippery, helping blend my acrylic paint across the canvas much easier. So this is a really, really great tip. For all of you beginners that are having a hard time with your paint drying out and running out too quickly across the canvas, this doesn't cost a thing and it's gonna save you so much frustration. Okay guys, so before this can have time to dry, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take some white, some purple, some black, and a little bit of blue. All of those colors on my brush, not blended into one on the palette, I'm just gonna go around and add them just sporadically like this. I like to have a little fun with my backgrounds when I'm creating them and create little swirls here and there. You can make your background, which is gonna be the sky, uh, as whimsical as you like. This is a really fun painting. I really love Halloween, and if you're new to my channel and you like Halloween, I've got quite a few uh, tutorials. I've got a playlist, all for Halloween-themed paintings, so check that out. I'm gonna take those colors again, and I'm gonna go along the bottom now. Now this area here, is gonna be the ground, the foreground. And a little bit more back in here. I'm gonna take a little bit of white, olive green, and a little bit of turquoise without washing my brush off. And go right down to the ground here, just pulling and grazing over that. And then I'm just going to tap, push and tap like this, just using the same brush, just using the tip and a quarter of the way up the canvas, or the brush I mean, and tapping onto the canvas for little bits of grass and moss and maybe some trees in the background. We can even do a little, little bits of flicks like this for little bits of grass. Okay, then I'm gonna, without washing my brush off, take the rest of that blue with a little bit of black, and I'm gonna apply a darker patch here where we've got a bit more shadow. And then come in from the top, the corner here with whatever's left in my brush and sort of create a little veneer of these darker colors softly blending in to all the other ones
Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Wash out that brush. I'm gonna completely dry this off. Okay, for our next step, I'm gonna take my flat brush, a little bit of neon yellow and that olive green. I'm gonna add a little bit more here in the background. This is where we're gonna have with that green smoke coming from with our, our pot here, our witch's brew. And I'm gonna scumble a little bit of it around the outside edge here. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of turquoise this time along with these colors. And just swivel and swirl my brush around. We'll take a bit more white, yellow. I'm just gonna use the corner like this. And just twist and pull up. And then scumble where I wanna have more of the smoky look. We really wanna create haze and smoke. Okay, so I think we've got a pretty cool smoky witch's brew around here. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my turquoise and white this time and just go around the edge here. Okay, and then we're gonna paint the big pot. I'm going to switch over to a small filbert brush this time. I'm going to take my black and my blue and bring it down about this far. We're going to have some flames coming up from the bottom. Add a little bit more black on the side here. Well, we're gonna have some of that mist, that green smoldering, whatever they've got cooking in that pot. Be over top of this pot here too, coming down. Add some more black down here for a shadow. You could even um, paint a few little bubbles too if you wanted. Uh, let's take all three colors, blue, turquoise, and white. See if that can kind of look like bubbles, maybe spilling over the edge a little bit. Just a little something like that. And then we can have some a little bit of white. And then back over to 
filbert, clean filbert, white, those colors again, the yellow turquoise. Uh, a little bit more than a young yellow cool this time. There. Now we can start working on the flames and later on I can come back and add another bright highlight there if I want. Um, so for the flames here, I'm going to be taking my white, yellow, red, both yellows, warm, cool, white, and red. And I can just start Wiggling in here, a little bit more of that orange, balance that out so we don't get too much of a pinky thing happening, and just wiggle. And let that paint work out of your brush and create a little glow of embers and a bit of a warm reflection down here. Wipe all that out of my brush. Take some yellow, some orange, and just wiggle. Wiggle, twist and turn. A little bit of red. Got that coming up the side. I'm going to add a little bit of violet and a little bit of black down here. I'll add some black on this side of our pot. That stand out a little bit more. then take a little bit more of the white and brighten up some of these flames. We should have a full moon somewhere too before um, we finish this painting so I'll add that pretty soon before I forget but I think I can come in now and do another layer. I'm going to switch over to my flat brush for this um, uh, layer of um, witch's brew because I like the uh, ripply, almost like a ribbony effect I get with this one. A little bit more of the white. A 
I want to have that glow around the pot. It's just so much. It's just spilling over the edge. I love that. Okay, now I think we can paint a moon. And I'm going to take a little bit of my neon yellow cool and a little bit of white. Let's see, where should we have our moon? I'm always drawn to this side for my moon. Maybe I'll change it up this time, actually. I think we're going to have it there. I had a little water drop. And it's showing the canvas underneath. I'm going to go continuously around and around, working that paint out of my brush so that it looks like it's got a nice haze and glow around it. Then I'm going to scumble around the inside. Go around and around, making it nice and smooth. I want to work some of the paint off now so we can see some of the darker patches on the moon. And then come in with a little bit of white. I'm going to take a little bit of my blue, black with the white and add some clouds over. There, so now it doesn't take away, we know a full moon's there, it's adding more mood to the painting, but it's not necessarily competing with this right here. We want this to be really glowing. So I think that's uh, pretty cool how that is. And I'm gonna leave that and we can start working on our little witches. Okay, so for our witches, just gonna start with some black and we'll have one over here. They're gonna have really funny bodies being really um, dramatic looking and exaggerated. So I'm going to start, her body kind of is hunched over, her skinny back, and then her bottom, and then it comes down and around here. Her dress. Her shoulder area, her chest area, her skinny arm and elbow, little hand, we'll add a little bit more to that after. her hair. Let's make that gray. You can make yours whatever color you want. Brim of her hat. A 
and then now I made it kind of wrinkly like that by wiggling my brush you could just wiggle and then let off So everything's exaggerated, right? We've got her nose, chin that sticks out, skinny body, and then we can paint some little, maybe we'll give her some cute little purple boots. And stockings. I'll cover up a little bit more. Bring this down just a little bit more. And now we can start working on the other side. So the witch is on this side. Let's we'll start with her nose that comes out like this. <laughs> And then her hair will be kind of in her face. And then her hat. Let's just take that area off there where it's just a little bit too exaggerated. So some fuzzy hair. Room. Little arm holding the broom. little legs and her sister standing here too
we'll add some gray hair just sort of covering up their faces we're not really going to see too much of their faces And a little line here with the gray. And we'll have hers. Her broom coming out this way. I'm going to cut around here with the green. And then I'll work on their noses a little bit. take my liner brush here and just define the shape of everything a little bit more. We're going to add a little wart on our nose. <laughs> Widen her hat.
outline these faces a little bit more. They're pretty scary looking. I'm gonna cut up this end of the broom because I think I just brought it down a little bit too far. Take a little bit of the green and look like she's holding on to her broom there. You could give them maybe some straight stockings. along with their little boots. A lot of turquoise on this side. And we will add some blue over on this one. A little bit of highlights here and some gray.
maybe a few little bats somewhere up in here. A little bit of blue and black. I'm going to call this painting all done. This was pretty fun, loose, fun painting. Can't wait to see you guys. It's up on the Facebook group. Happy painting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And happy Halloween, everybody. See you all next time. Bye.